The date was November 30th of 1984. It happened in University City. The crime was murder. It's just a wound that will never heal. And you bleed inside. No pain can match the anguish of losing a child, especially when she was killed. Dot and Joe Wilson are still struggling with their pain eight years after their 20-year-old daughter, Debbie, was murdered at Drexel University. She was studying late in the computer room at Randall Hall. The next morning, her body was found in a rear stairwell of the building. Debbie Wilson had been strangled. Her shoes and socks were missing. Time has not healed the Wilsons' deep wounds, especially around the holidays. It's the bad time of the year for us. Uh, we don't even spend Christmas home here. In the malls and in the stores, and you hear all the jolly Christmas music, and, and uh, you have a very difficult time with that. Made even more difficult because Debbie's killer still hasn't been brought to justice. Debbie's room is just as she left it. Her parents come here sometimes and remember the daughter they were so proud of. Then I have to quick get out of there because I can't take it. The relentless investigation into Debbie Wilson's murder has yielded several key clues over the past eight years. One more vital piece of information could tie them all together and lead to an arrest. Now as time has passed, we've seen in cases where people now say, hey, I do know something and can call the hotline and give us that little piece of information that could lead us to solving this case. We believe we can be very close if we get that one piece of information to lock this case in. If you can provide the missing piece of Debbie Wilson's murder, you can tell what you know without having to give your name and ease her family's grief. Call the Citizens Crime Commission in Philadelphia, 546-TIPS. Rob Jennings, Channel 6 Action News.